Catch a boat to England, baby, maybe to Spain. He was funny, he was smart, very smart. In fact, his intelligence was intimidating. There was some aura of attraction about him. Paul Simon had respect for what he was doing. He was a powerful performer, and he loved to engage the audience. Certainly was believable. There was nothing fake about him at all. He made an impression in England. It was just fantastic. Everyone really, really got off on him. I can't imagine that Jackson would not have been successful. I want to be alone. I saw Jack not moving and with definitely with a troubled look on his face. I realized it was the fires. He was becoming less coherent. His voice was also changing, getting a little, a little deeper, a little huskier. He was no longer the jokester and the fun guy. And he would sit here naked, no clothes on at all, uh, wearing a, with a carrying a big broadsword and one of those Norse hats that had the horns on it. But he looked really messed up. His eyes were kind of gone. And he... I saw a man shuffling along, kind of hobbling, and, you know, like just dragging his foot, and his arms were kind of like this. And I just, I said, Jackson? And he goes, Jim? And I said, yeah. He said, you're late. They picked me up and kept putting me in mental hospitals. What they do in the hospital is they say you walk in the corridor or you sit and watch TV. I bend your head if I can. That's what it is to be a man Although we're at the same station It ain't your trip but I'm taking Cover me with roses Cover me with roses Cover me with roses yeah.